What's going on, you guys? You're not even going to believe this one. I figured I'd throw this out there. I have another project. I thought I was done, but I'm not. One, I'd like to get, because my VHF array, array was destroyed, K1 GMM Steve Vermont, by the way, not that you care. I hope you do. I care about you guys. Anyways, we're coming into sporadic E season, and my VHF system was destroyed, as you know. The hex beam was destroyed. Anybody who's been following the stream knows that I have a new 20 meter array up. So I got 20 covered, right? But I was talking to a friend of mine this morning, and he worked uh, 17 meters, I think it was yesterday. It is, I'll give you the date, it is March 25th. So this must have been the 24th of March. It's 2019? I'm losing track. Anyways, he said he works 17. Now, with the loss of the hex beam, I don't have anything. Theoretically, the 20 meter array does load on 17, although it's not cut for that, and it's not designed for that. So, that being said, I need something for 17. Now, I love 30 meters. 30 meters is a great band. And I've been trying to figure out, okay, what can I put up for 30 meters through 10 meters because there are openings I'd like to be able to get into South America on 10 meters I kind of doubt anything will open up across the pond on 10 from my QTH but hey like they say you're better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it I have nothing up for 17 through 10 actually I don't have anything for 30 the 40 meter array loads on 30 but you know these monoband antennas you can force them in on other bands, but they really don't radiate worth a crap. So I got thinking, I did a little research this morning. I stumbled upon some info. I think it was on QRZ, I don't know, a forum somewhere. And they were talking about a guy wanted a multiband 160 meter inverted L. Well, got me thinking based upon some things that they discussed in there. I have a 160 meter inverted L up. It's a quarter wave 160. And it's just a 160 meter inverted L. And the guy's like, well, screw trying to multiband it. He says, why don't you just uh, make basically, instead of a fan dipole, you run a fan vertical. So, haha, <laughs> it's already up. All I have to do is add some elements on it. He said, Reper, uh, multi, multi use the multi purpose the counterpoise you have on it or whatever you have, it'll work. And one of the guys said he uses one and it works really, really good. So here we go. Uh, let me get, I'll get it up on full screen. So this is the project. This is what I will be doing. So what you're looking at here is 160 meter inverted L, it goes up 60 feet, height, height above ground and terminates at 80 feet, kind of a sloping horizontal section. So I got thinking, why don't I just drop it down? I've got tons of PVC here, um, cut some spacers, and I will load up 10, 15, 17, 20, and 30 meter elements on it, duh. I've already got a, a top-notch choke, a Ballon Designs one-to-one, -one. I think it's a 5KW, something like that. So. Uh, I have the folded counterpoise in place. I thought about, I may add a counterpoise running north and south, uh, maybe a 30 meter counterpoise. I don't know, but I'll try it like this and see what happens. Um, so there you go. Uh, food for thought. I'm going to give it a go because this will pretty much cover the gamut. Uh, I will have 10 through 160 meters. It's not going to generate any gain, but I don't really care about that. I just want something that will get me on the bands that is resonant. Uh, in other words, no tuner required. It'll probably require a tuner because the image plane is not set up for these bands. But who knows? Uh, I'll try it and see what happens. Uh, so what, you know, if I have to roll it in a little bit with a tuner, it's sure a heck of a lot better than a totally non-resonant antenna on those bands. I can guarantee that one. So I don't know. We'll run with it. Uh, 
so basically, uh, if you look over here, just I, I put some thoughts in there. Uh, you can add as many elements as you want. If you've got a 160 meter L, stick a 40 meter element on there. Stick an 80 meter element on there. Hey, what the heck, man? One feed line and you get it all. How cool is that? Anyways, catch you guys later. I may be streaming later on. I don't know, but I figured I'd just throw that at you. Food for thought. Kind of cool, isn't it? So six meters, I'm going to rebuild the tower structure that got torn apart in the storm. And I'm going to stick, I have a three element six meter quad I'm going to put on that sucker. So also I was thinking, I'm out of ports on the switch. So if I add the six meter beam out there, that means I got to bring coax all the way to the shack. Wrong. I just ordered another double pull, double throw relay. So I'm going to mount a relay at the base of the tower, have it switchable from the shack. The six meter quad is on top, and then I'm going to run the feed line over to the 20 meter array and I'll be able to switch back and forth between the two on the single feed line to the, to the four position switch and back to the shack. So very cool. Getting it all figured out. Catch you guys later. If you like what you see and you want to be part of the community here, go ahead and subscribe. I always say this. I don't care if you subscribe, but if you want to be notified of anything coming or when I put something up, the shenanigans, uh, you want a good laugh, there you go. Um, subscribe, hit the little bell icon on the channel, and you'll be notified of when something, when I'm going live or when I go live or when I post something on the YouTube channel. So with that, 7-3, have a great day, everybody. We'll catch up with you on the stream. And just a quick sideshow, huge thank you to everybody who's participating. This is a community here, and I really appreciate it. And the, the whole purpose of this, there's a lot of people watching. I know there are that are thinking about getting into the hobby. They are not licensed yet. So... Just a big shout out to you guys. Word of encouragement. Go ahead and get your ticket. It's a lot of fun. We have fun here. It's all about having fun. If you're not having fun, pack your radios up, sell them, and get out of the hobby. But what we're all about here is having fun. So the minute it ceases to become, it ceases to be fun, you will never see me again. 7-3, <laughs> all. We'll catch you later. K1GMM, Steve, Vermont.